Hello there guys, uh, welcome to today's video on the it's the e Bike Repairs YouTube channel, of course. Um, we've got a wrench and battery in here, it's a Rapier IR3 by the looks of it. Two pin version, it's out of a Carrera Cross City E. Um, it's been left for a long time, so on off switch does nothing. When you plug in the charger, which you see is green, you focus the camera, nothing. On the battery output, you get nothing. We're good at framing things down. Come on. Uh, yeah, nothing, basically. So, um, the likelihood is the cells are too low and the BMS has gone into, you know, just turned off, it said no, stop it, go away, I'm not happy, and it won't let it take a charge, so let's have a little look, uh, to open one of these, I think I've done loads of these before, one, two, three, four little Phillips screws, like posi ones, a clip there, and a clip there, these ones aren't broken yet, let's see if I can manage that, and when you undo them, they'll leave behind the tiny, tiny, tiny little nuts here, there's a, uh, are super duper easy to lose, so that's fun. Uh, oh, that screw came out. And there's the uh, screw, little thin jobby, like M. I don't know what that is, M3, M2. Little ones, anyway. <coughs> left behind. Fair enough, it wants to go that way today. Uh, so, to undo these, I'm going to get a little pick underneath here. And just gently pop that off, don't squeeze it. Gently pop that off, I think I shut the other side. No I didn't, look at me go. Uh, and you've got to take one of these off the lock. And then, just like magic, the top lifts off. That one, the screw is confused. I think it doesn't really want to let me have the rest of the pack out. Oh yeah it does, there you go. Right. Uh, what's stopping me? Can't tell you. I think it's just the battery being stuck down now. Uh, I'm gonna take a definitely not metal screwdriver and do something to this. It might involve a tiny, tiny little bit of gentle prying. Full of silicon yumminess. Uh, BMS is just here, so I'm going to try and get to the balance leads or something on this side by not cutting through anything important. Nearly there. There you go, All right. Uh, and we'll check these cell voltages. I think there's a bit of tape on top of that. Might be. 
get the JST off in one piece. No, because it's all glued on. I love it when it's easy. I'm going to stab myself on the finger any second now, I can tell. One side's coming. <sighs> Freedom! There you go. Huh. That one's loose. It's very loose. The tab has snapped off. That'd be fine. I'll deal with that. I can always replace the pin there. Um, let's check the cell voltages, shall we? Let's see what we've got. Okay. Well, because the whole pack we've got two volts, so that that pretty much answers that then, doesn't it? Right. They're pretty much dead. All these cells are dead. Be what that is. Great. Well, they look like there might be Panasonic cells in here. Let's say that they're Panasonic cells. Um, obviously, you should never ever try and bring these cells back up because they might get hot or blow up or something like that. Um, really, they want reselling. If you did want to do the thing that you're not supposed to do, and uh, let's say revive the pack. Let's go with revive. Uh, well, I'd have to address this broken uh, broken jazz tea that probably I ripped out, let's be honest here. Um, but you could leave that plugged into there <clears throat> and if you had an adjustable power supply that was set at something you know like 30 volts and you just sort of Accidentally made it be connected to the output of the uh, of the battery. You know, by being very bad, you you could revive it up to a point where it uh, took a charge again. But of course you shouldn't do that. That would be very bad. But just for, uh, let's say, theoretical values here. They get a bit close, don't they? Actually, put a bit of tape on that. That's too much tape. That's not going to work, is it?
Anyway, if you accidentally connected a, an adjustable power supply to the outputs of the battery, it might be saying 17 volts, 18 volts, 19 volts. It might have just all by itself started just magically having the voltage come back. Uh, as and when and if it reached something around the, the 30 volt mark, it didn't get hot, it didn't, you know, set on fire or anything, um, <coughs> one could theoretically do something a bit like plugging this charger back in and, uh, and then letting the charger charge it up. But, which would of course be very bad and you should never ever do it because you'll set everything on fire and everything will blow up. But then you could disconnect your uh, adjustable power supply from the, the output of the battery. And you'd find that the battery would actually start taking a charge again all, all, by its, all by itself. Which would be really convenient if you had a battery and you didn't want to throw it in the bin like this one. Now, this of course is horrendously unsafe. You should never do it. It's bad. You'll blow up your house and the world and the whole planet will, will explode. But it works. If you did do it and you monitored it and it you know didn't get hot and then you tested it and it discharged to its fullest capacity or pretty much and it didn't get overly hot during discharging, you could almost say that you revived the battery pack, couldn't you? Should be. Wouldn't that be very convenient if that that was a thing that worked? But um, yeah, obviously don't ever do this because you blow up your house, the country and. Everyone around you will be set on fire, but um, the odd occasion, it's useful to know how you could do it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.